In this demonstration, I will manipulate the view of my drawing using the zoom and pan commands. While creating and editing drawings, it is essential that you are able to change your view fluidly and efficiently. AutoCAD zoom and pan commands and their options provide you with all the tools you need to quickly see just what you want. My drawing requires both panning and zooming to examine its details. The pan command can be started from the status bar, menus, a shortcut menu, or simply entering P at the command line. Just like a sheet of paper on my desktop, I can drag the view wherever I like. If necessary, I can restrict the pan movements to the X and Y directions. The zoom command options can also be started from the status bar, menus, a shortcut menu, or simply entering Z at the command line. One of the best zoom options is Zoom Extends. Regardless of the current view of my drawing, Zoom Extends repositions my drawing so the extents of the geometry fill the screen. I'm ready to zoom in on some details now. With Zoom Real Time, I can use my mouse wheel to zoom in and out dynamically. My personal favorite is Zoom Window. With a couple of clicks, I can draw a window containing just the geometry I want. AutoCAD zooms right in so this geometry fills the screen. Finally, I often need to return to a view I've recently used. Instead of starting the zoom and pan process from scratch, I can use Zoom Previous to step back through my last 10 views. This is a big time saver. The zoom and pan commands are accessible from multiple locations and easy to use. It only takes a little practice and you'll be zooming around your drawing effortlessly.